All right, so this video is to demonstrate how to use the pack and go feature in SOLIDWORKS. And what you use it for is to be able to share your drawings, your part models, your assembly uh, with someone else. So if you need to send this to someone else to evaluate, then pack and go makes sure it grabs all of the components referenced and sends them there. So you can see here, we just have a, a tic-tac-toe game assembly and it's got a couple of slabs, it's got some O pegs, it has some X pegs, and it even has some toolbox components. So no matter where these are saved, uh, it doesn't matter what folder, we use pack and go and it will grab them from that folder, put them in a zip file so that you can then share it with somebody else. So I'm just gonna use the assembly for this example. So I'm gonna go here to the assembly. I'm gonna use a search function that we have up here to set this to search for commands and then just type the word pack and go. And once it comes up, you can click on it. It takes you to this dialog box. And so you just have some options to make as far as what you wanna include in there. So I'm gonna check the box for include drawings. I'm gonna check the box for include toolbox components. Since this assembly does have toolbox components, yours may or may not have toolbox components in it. And then include suppressed components uh, is also checked. So you can look down through here, and these are the different uh, SOLIDWORKS files. They're going to be put into a zip file to then be shared with somebody else. So then all I, all I have to do is select Save to Zip File, click on Browse, and what I've done is just created a folder on my desktop called Tic-Tac-Toe Game Folder, and then give it a file name. So I'll just say Tic-Tac-Toe Zip. Click on Save. I've got the radio button for flatten to a single folder selected, so I can click on save. It just takes SOLIDWORKS a few seconds to find all those and copy all those files to that folder. So then I can go out to my desktop, find this tic-tac-toe game folder, and there's my zip file. And then I can pull up my email and I can send that to somebody. And they have all of the, the different components as well as the drawing that I had created. And that's all there is to use in pack and go. So hopefully uh, that helps you out and let me know if you have any trouble with it.